a dream is something that all of us should reach for. Every one of us should recognize what a dream really means. My grandpa, Pop Tom, I call him Pop most of the time. When we were little, I remember I'd come over to the office and in the office there was a red rug. And so when we were really little, I remember taking magic carpet rides on the rug with him. He'd sit down and I'd sit down and, okay, here we go. Our dad instilled in us a healthy respect of work and what work meant and how it was important to work and, and uh, physically work and to get it done and get it done properly. And we learned that from our dad and his dad, our grandfather. Dad, I think uh, he's probably the second hardest working man I've ever known in my life. The hardest working was my grandfather, okay, his dad, and they were both as stubborn as you make them. And once they made a decision, it was done. I don't care what it was in life. Granddaddy said you gotta work that land and put some footprints in the field. My dad and mom instilled in us at a very young age a sense of family, a sense of responsibility, a sense that we're all in this thing together. That family thing has been huge throughout the generations and it continues to be. My nieces and nephews and are getting involved in it and just to keep that legacy going and it's, it's all about family. You know, it's the legacy. It's, it's something that, you know, our, our forefathers have done. I think for all of us, that's kind of the life that we wanted for, for our family. Family here is just like number one. You know, everybody has their backs and everyone's there for each other. And you can just tell just the love. You hear stories about my grandpa, Tom Jr., my dad and my uncles, you know, and, and it makes you, you know, it makes you proud about what you do. So when I was a kid, you know, I, I just wanted to do what my dad and my grandpa and my uncles were doing. You know, all, all that pride, 150 years, I mean, your grandparents, your dad, you've watched it all. It's just your heart and soul, you know, it's just everything to you. There's a lot of people, older people especially, that used to work here. And they'll tell us stories, you know, they'll be talking about how he was so hard on them during that time, but how much they've grown in that period of time. But that work ethic and that, you know, never give up attitude, I think, served everybody well as, as we, we've gotten older and hopefully we're imparting those same values onto the younger generation. I just think of him as like a big teddy bear. Underneath that gruff exterior, you know, he's got one of the biggest hearts around. I mean, he's delivering fruit to half the valley, you know, drops it off at this doorstep or that doorstep, never saying who it's from, but everybody knows. And he just, if, if somebody is in need, he's gonna figure out a way to help him out. So raise your glass for generations past down for I've done my job. They got a bigger job now to do, and that's to keep it rolling and uh, stay humble and recognize that we're a bunch of peasants that's had a little bit of success. And don't get a big head. Just stay the course. A dream is the combination of expectation. That dream is what makes us tick, and we do not ever want to lose sight of what causes it. But you got a dream. You got a dream, and you got to believe in your dream and reach out to your friends and your neighbors. You are a part of a dream, and a dream that's going to continue as long as you stay humble and are full of faith and believe in what you're doing as being the right thing. And believe me, it is. Tom Jr. said this is the promised land and we'll never leave these fields.